Hey guys, I'm back. Ugh, life. What it is, <laughs> what it is done. But I'm not giving up. I'm gonna really try and come back and do my videos and do what I want, you know, do what I want to do. So I want to show you this. I got the window open, so I don't know how the light is, but I want to show you how gorgeous this dried with these colors. I mean, look at that. Now, these are, if you didn't see this, I will tag this at the end. I'll put it at the end of the video, like up here in the corner, I think it'll say like, watch this video. And then you can see what I used and what I did. I had some maps. I had some pages out of, um, oh, like, you know, like uh, oh, good housekeeping and people or whatever, you know, where I had some, I wanted some bright colors and I can't quite remember everything. I have tags here I got um and you know just some some things so i was gonna do the other face on there and i changed my mind and you know we can change our mind but i am using printer paper i drew this on the ipad and printed it out um you do not have to do that you can draw your own picture um your own face and i will do a video showing you you know how I do it um, obviously on the iPad or whatever it's a little bit easier um, for me because everything I do goes up uh, so it helps keep it straight but I will do I will show you uh, the rules and all the things um, so then you'll know do you know what I mean uh, and we'll go through and draw another one like her so this is on printer paper printed her out no big deal when I go to glue her down what's gonna happen is and I never glue in the middle. I always glue like, and you remember you could turn it like this. Like I'm not digging right here so much. I can put her here, right? So I could put her wherever I want, but under here, which is one of the things I love is some texture. Well, that's not gonna go good with her face because it's gonna make it lumpy underneath. So something else I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some modeling paste uh, molding paste, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm going to tint it a little bit. I might even use gesso because a lot of us have uh, gesso or have made our own gesso or whatever. Uh, so because I'm going to put her over here, I'm going to kind of try to flatten it a little bit. Again, this is just texture paste. Um, I'll use boof so we can see which works better. And I'm just going to do a little squish out. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to grab a little scoopy thing and let's scoop some of this out. I don't need a lot. Oh, got sticky. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to take some of my, you can use acrylic paint. You can use alcohol ink. You can use whatever you have. I think I'm going to stick with uh, some orange over here and this is just uh, graphics aqua ink in I think it's marabou um, marabou around still because I really love some of their stuff does it have a color it doesn't have a color right here oh orange on top imagine that Kelly okay and then I will do a little dab for NJ and anybody else who likes a dab and then a little dab for us who don't dab because it's illegal in our state and that means I have to go to a doctor and I don't feel like it because I go to enough doctors. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to just smush it again. And I'm doing this, I'm coloring this because, again, this can be, I call it modeling paste. They also call it molding paste, texture paste. Uh, whatever. I don't know. All the things. And obviously it's white, so it's going to go a little thinner, but that's okay. can add more, and then I'm going to just mix this bad boy up. Which I could have used my clear gesso, so it, it was like a transparent orange. Would have been really cool, but I'm not in the mood to fuss around too much, because I just cleaned my desk, and now I'm going to have to coin this. That's alright. So right here, I, I'm seeing some bumps, so I'm just going to grab... And I'm going to lightly go over that because I want it to be even when I go to put her down over here. I'm going to mix these actually. I like the consistency of that together. 
Just makes it spread better. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? that hump there and I'm not really digging on that one just doing it very thin I'm gonna leave those alone it doesn't have to be everything just I'm just giving it a quick once over and then once it's dry I will put a clear gloss on um, or clear gesso probably clear gesso um, and what that's gonna do is see the Sun keeps going in and out What's that gonna, what that's going to do is it's going to um, kind of, how do you say, like, secure all this to the bottom so nothing's going to come up. When I go to paint or put her on, the, any colors that are water soluble won't come up through because they'll be kind of permanent. And I'll show you that more when the time comes, but I'm just, and we got a lot more to do, so of uh, coloring and adding and stuff. This is just my process. Do you, you can skip this if you want. Some people, it doesn't bother. And if it doesn't bother you, don't do it. <laughs> Sometimes it bothers me. Um, lately, my uh, like OCD or whatever the hell it's called is just a little much. So, and that's not to say it still won't happen, but you know. This one, it's schmoove, like a schmoove. Anybody know what that's from? A schmoovy? Okay. Uh, I think that'll be okay. I like that darkness. Just a little bit down here, which I didn't do. I'm going to scrape it. I'm just trying to make it a little easier. I just got my nails done. I don't want to do them. Again, I just did them. All right. Okay. So that is her. <laughs> In all her glory. So I'm going to pause you. And when I get back, uh, it'll be dry. And I will already have her glued. I already have the clear gesso, which I'll show you everything. You can use clear gloss. You can use um, gel gloss. You can use... Uh, there's a million things you can clear coat it whatever you want to do at this point or you don't have to do anything really um but uh i will be back and then when i'm back she'll be glued down this will be dry everything will have a one coat and then we can start with her which i'm just going to let you know now um i'm going to color with uh how you say uh color pencils first and then i'll go on with some paint so i'll be back let me show you real quick because I got asked in another video and I thought, you know what, maybe I'll just show it now. Okay, this is my printed out, right? And what I do is I take my, this is Liquitex Clear Gesso. I mean, it's in, nowadays it's in a million different brands and stuff. When I was starting out in 2005, maybe, um, the brands were much more, uh, there was less. So like Liquitex, uh, Golden, um, uh, you did have some store brands, but there were Folk Art, you know, those kind of things, which really didn't have uh, like gessos and stuff like that, that that I can recall. So, I mean, I love Liquitex. Golden is my favorite favorite because um, it just works so well. So I always say, now it's different now because... Uh, like Michael's and Joanne's, they only once in a while have a 40 off coupon or a 50 off coupon. But let me tell you, when you get it, go get yourself a clear gesso, either in Liquitex, which is extremely cheaper, uh, or Golden, or whatever brands you can get, and use the coupon. That's how I shop now. Uh, I shopped like that then, but every week there was a 40 off, 50 off, so I could build up a little bit more. 
Um, but this works just as fine. Anyway, so I just want to say. So what I do is I shake her up and peel that glue off. And I just kind of do like that. I'll take my brush. I'll move this out of the way so the light's hitting it. I gotta turn my lights on. And look, it's thick, I know. And that's all right because I want it thick. You only want to go past one time because if I keep going, now I'm going to take off the thick and I don't think I need a brush hair on there. Um, you just want to go real quick. Boop, 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 boop. Get it smooth and you'll be able to see when it's done. Um, you'll see like where it's smudged a little bit. Am I worried about that? No, I'm going to paint on it. But I did this first before doing my canvas and I'll do my canvas last, but I want this to dry so I can color it while that dries because using your heat gun or even a hair dryer or whatever, I find on a texture paste or a thicker, you know, thicker paint or anything like that really, um, can help it lift off now it gives you great texture bubbles and all that kind of stuff and if you know when to stop it's great but if you continue it's plastic so it's gonna lift up and go so i'm gonna let this dry i'm gonna clean off my desk i'm gonna color her with my uh i'll come back when i get my colored pencils out to show you what they are after i put everything away and um yeah and then we'll just get, keep moving on moving on okay so these are the um, pencils that Dave got me for Christmas. Now I'm a Prisma color lover of pencils. I have a humongous, one of the big, biggest Ziploc, not even a freezer bag. It's like a six gallon bag, clear bag that I throw all my colored pencils in. So he was like, I'm tired of seeing, you know, I carry it around or I set it down somewhere and they all bloop out because it needs to seal on top. It's a mess. So he said, I researched for a while, uh, this was at Christmas time, he's like, I researched for a long time to find pencils, colored pencils that are good, that people love, that you can use, and you have a case and everything for. So, he found these. And, I mean, <laughs> can't, like, come on. So, I'll just start here real quick. It comes, I think I showed these before, I can't remember. It's 120 colors. And it comes with your color uh, pencil tester sheet that you use, that you, you know, mark everything, which I've not done yet. But you can see it comes with all the colors. I mean, look at these beautiful colors. And he was like, I made sure it had face colors and, you know, like uh, skin tones. Look at this. So she beautiful. <laughs> She's very beautiful. So... Today, I am picking, what color is this? This is cadmium orange light. Nope, that's not it. Maple yellow light, is this white? Sometimes I can't read, I can't. Soft touch, titanium white, I'm gonna pick out. And then I need like a shading color. I got some burnt umber. Now the question is, will Kelly remember where to put these? No, she won't. I won't worry about the eyes and all now. I'll put these back and do them. Um, but you know, I always go for green. So let's let's just take a dark and a light green, just because. I mean, I'm not going to color all these on here. Well, you know, while recording, because that'll take me forever, and you guys don't need to see all that. But. At the end, we're going to glue it onto the um, canvas, you know what I'm saying? And then lips, and then here we go. Coral, and I left my nails longer this time, and um, well, this looks very orangey. I should have I should have done the little thingy-majig, right? That's all right. We'll make it work. Tim Gunn will make it work. Okay. I'm going to put these two. And I think, is this going to be cream? What are you going to be? Primrose yellow. Interesting. It's an interesting color. Okay. So that's where I'm going to start. 
and we're gonna see that's kind of yellow though Kelly we're gonna see how it works out because I'm very particular with my markers okay so I have that and I love the case so I have these I'm gonna work with now what I do is I just put this on a blue uh, paper towel for me to color on um, make sure your uh, thing is dry but let me show you can you see the smudges I got a little bit like right here up in the eye it's all right because we're gonna color it with paint and you know what I mean but if you go back and forth like this it's gonna smudge right because it's inkjet I just have a plain old cheap ass inkjet printer um, and you know I used to put the stuff on and Mod Podge or whatever and which you can do Mod Podge paper or Mod Podge um, Mod Podge mat. The only thing I'm going to tell you is, and I love folk art stuff. I love Mod Podge and their paints and everything. It's more watery than if you just use clear gesso. You know, I gotta blow out that candle. It's killing me. I feel like I'm dying. Um, yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. And then when I come back, she'll be, she'll be uh, ready to get on the uh, old canvas. I'll be back. Okie dokie. So what I did was I painted her, I colored her with colored pencils. And I then made sure that was dry. And this is one of my favorite things in the world. It's workable fixative. Um... And so what I did was I just gave everything a real quick coat. So none of this would lift. Because I used, um, where'd it go? I don't know what I did with it. But I used, like, one of these, the pink one. I, I don't know what the heck I did with it. But uh, that's one of the ones I used, and it's watercolor. So, um... That means it's going to, you know, run if that's what I do. So, I'm going to take some. This is Mod Podge Gloss. Not exactly what I wanted. Let's see. I'll use it, but I don't want gloss necessarily. We'll just do the good old Mod Podge paper. And they made this because a lot of people complained with the other Mod Podge, with Mod Podge, this mat, which I use all the time. I don't know why I don't have it sitting here. God, I'm moving everything around. Anyway, so people complained that it would stick, like it was sticky. And people didn't like that, so, which, you know, I don't blame anybody. So, um, you know, they made this great. Here it is, right in front of me. I am such a dork. It's the, uh, I think I said it in the video prior, watercolor ink by graphics marabou in the color magenta and then i just this is what i did i took my you know and painted her and kind of did on that now you can see she has a, a sheen between the um i did start marking these <laughs> between these which work like oil pencils almost um between those and the fixative uh you know but this protects uh, the fixative, if you're not familiar. You can get this at Michael's, uh, Lowe's, everywhere. Protects pencil, pastel, and chalk drawings. Prevents smudging and wrinkling. And allows easy rework. And it's acid-free, archival sa safe. Which I get asked that quite a bit. And what we're going to do is rework her in a, in a way. So, I think I'm going to put her here. I do I do I kind of want her on the bottom I don't want her right on the edge I love the color not quite sure about the hair but that's all reworked can be reworked as well so I'm gonna turn her over and come on baby I'm gonna take some of this and yes I did shake it uh, some people don't like to shake it you can stir it you can do whatever you want and I'm gonna just put this and I'm just doing it on the canvas if it some of it gets over it doesn't matter this brush loses more hair oh, brush is it a wash that's probably why okay 
And then I'm going to go down here. And I want to get it all covered. You know, I'm going to have to probably go over the edges and all. And I'm not worried about that. I just like to get a tacky coat. Okay. And then you want to kind of lay it where you want it. And I'm just going to go up the middle, move to the side, and move to the side. And just keep rubbing. Especially the face. I don't want any bubbles in the face. I'm just going to kind of... And you see, nothing's going to smudge or anything. Because I'm just... Everything's already coated. Yeah. I'm going to go down here. Really concentrating in the middle. Right? Okay. Ooh, okay. I always get excited when I get to this point. Now, can you draw on here? Of course you can. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I draw on color. Other times, if I'm work, like if I'm out in the, um, now just go under those edges like that and just kind of push them down. Don't worry if you get in on her. It's all right. Um, like if I'm working on the iPad or, or drawing just in my journal or, you know, whatever, and I come up with something I really like, then, you know, I like to do it like this. Sometimes I'll just sit here and paint, you know, paint somebody on. We just had a wicked bad storm here. Ugh, I hate it. I mean, thank goodness we're all here. Dave uh, had a big operation on Wednesday, and uh, he's getting, he's deaf. Uh, if you've been with me, you know he's deaf. For the most part, he's lost his hearing over the years, and so, of course, insurance, you know, said they'll help with one, not both. So we got to take what we can get right now. So he got, um, he's going to end up having to go to the VA probably, but for the other one. Um, but yeah, so he got the start of a cochlear, co co cochlear, uh, hearing piece. He's tried, they've had him on so many different, hey, when there's little bumps, <clears throat> so many different, uh, hearing things to try hearing aids and operations and so much. And you see, I'm just squishing it in. I'm squishing it in them edges. I don't want those edges to lift. And if they do, you just go back and do it again. But I'm not in the mood today, you know? So Wednesday, oh, what a day Wednesday was. Uh, and when I took them, we dropped them off. And they said, oh, it's going to be... Um, like, an, a, he needs to be there an hour, two hours prior to the surgery. His surgery would be at four or three. Oh, my God. I just, the day is a blur. And then to rest or whatever it's called, recovery for two hours. Okay, fine. So, we got him there. He was there at two. And we dropped him off. Only one of us could have went in, and we decided that, um, cause I, my anxiety, there's no way I could have sat there by myself and, um, she didn't want to leave me by myself if he, it, 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 anyway, so, um, he went and we waited and we waited and we waited and we waited. We went and got something to eat and we waited, <laughs> came home and let the dogs out and sat with the dogs and waited. And it was about 830 and... Eight o'clock and Emily said, I'm going to call. Okay, fine. So she calls. They're like, oh no, he's still in surgery. So we're like scared to death. And uh, we're like, oh my God, you know, and they don't tell you anything. They'll call you when he's in recovery. So we're waiting and <laughs> we're waiting. Nothing's coming. I'm like, oh my gosh. So like around, I don't know, 8.30, 8.45, I called back. And I got somebody else and they were like, oh, he just came out and um, the doctor didn't call you. And we're like, no. And they're like, oh, that's weird. He should have called you. And we're like, well, he didn't. <laughs> so they said, um, well, you're like, because we're an hour away. 
And they're like, well, you're like an hour away, so why don't you get ready, head over, and then call us when you get here, and then, you know, hopefully he'll be able to get up and get out. So that's what we did. So my husband got home at 10.30 at night. <laughs> And Emily and I were just beside ourselves, beside ourselves. Um, it was awful. So now I have, uh, he's in recovery, he's, you know, here, but he's recovering and he has to um, recover for four weeks and then he'll go and they'll see about the, he got the magnet one put in, but if that one doesn't work, then they're going to have to do this take the magnet out and put the screw one in or something I don't know I don't know but uh so yeah so that's that's kind of where that's at and then um so I think I mentioned this in the prior video I can't it, it's everything has been like a whirlwind but Emily's dog um all her insides are all covered in membrane and attached so they can't fix her and until she gets surgery so she has to go into this big surgery we have to pay for um or you know it could be fatal so it, that's all a mess so it's like one thing after the other so i'm just trying I, I just come in my art room this is where i love to be this is what i like to do so i figured you know what i haven't been on here bitching and complaining for a while and uh i thought let me come on and do some things so here I am. All right. So let me talk about this. Um, now that I've <laughs> bored you to tears, I'm going to make this like a hat on her. All right. And then this will be her hair. So this has to dry. In the meantime, um, this is, I've, I've showed this to you guys before. I use a lot of dollar store stuff. Because, honestly, a lot of it's good. Um, which I'll do a video. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll do a video. Oh, screw it. I'll just do it now. Um, I can't think straight. So these are rub-ons. And you can see there's, like, little numbers. Hard, blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't care what they are. I just want it to add some texture and some, like, blah, blah, blah coming through, right? So that's what I got. Something else that I want you guys to think about is since I'm doing this kind of for beginner kind of thing the the background and and her and stuff like that now this is as old as dirt I've had this a subscriber sent this to me quite a few years ago um and it's a distress sprayer from Tim Holtz I love it I use it all the time but I get a lot of questions and uh, you know, from people like, I, I, what are you spraying with? What are you doing? I don't know. So, number one, I tell you, go to your dollar store. You get two in a pack, and this is what it is. It's a squirt. It squirts water, whatever you want, alcohol, whatever. I'm sorry, my foster dogs are barking. Um, so you can get that very easily. I like to take, which it's not in here. I have it packed in the closet because, anyway, I love my old Febreze bottle, and I'm going to tell you why. It has a great spray on it. I can spray a stream or I can spray a spray. It has the remnants of, or the renaissance, the remnants of Febreze in it. So when I spray it, even though the Febreze is cleaned out and everything, you spray it and it's like a smell of happiness. Do you know what I'm saying? Get your favorite scent. And when you're done with it, give it a rinse out, spray water through the nozzle and then use that as your spray. Um, it's great or anything else you have, but you know, just make sure you wash it out. But that's what I like to do. So that this is going to dry. I'm going to give it a few seconds. I will be back. Um, or maybe I can just do it because I'm only going to do it on this side. Let me run this over it real quick. Now this is my heat gun and I will not, I don't want to dry this glue all the way. Okay, because it's plastic and what it's going to do, it's going to not do what I want it to do. But if it just takes a little bit of that tackiness off. That's all. I really don't want to do too much. And remember what I said, don't go and um, put anything down now until everything's 
<clears throat> cooled off because it's going to be, a, this is going to be sticky if I touch it, you know, all the things. So, um, you know, that's it. And, 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 you know, you can go underneath and put your hand if you feel like you want to, you need to push it down or do anything like that. Also, this is just from Michael's, right? Sometimes, now I know some people are like, oh, ho-hum, Michael's canvases or whatever. I can't do my own. I know, like, I watch some of the um, other, like, on TikTok and stuff, some of the painters and on YouTube, and they do their own canvases. And I'm like, girl, I can't do that. I'm going to Michael's, and I'm getting me the 10-pack, and I'm calling it. Sometimes, though, when you're working on this, like, I, before I put her on there, I had this drawing sitting on a thing of paper towels. Not realizing that as it's drawing, it's getting a boof in the middle, right? I got a boof in the middle. I wish I could just wet it and get rid of it, but I'm not. I can't. But what you can do is take your water. This is another little tip. I'll get asked this too. And as it dries, what's going to happen is it's going to shrink it back up. And then you don't have the boof. I tried it on my stomach, it didn't work. <laughs> no. Don't hold it too long, because remember you got paint underneath. And that, my friends, will do the job for you. It'll shrink it back up or do this before you go to bed or are done painting for the day. And um, that'll definitely work. So. I just don't need the front to be any more wet than it is. Okay. All right. So, I'm kind of loving her. I got to go over her eyes and her lips and all the things. So, um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to open this. And the great thing is, I did all colored pencil, right? On her and, and the hair and the hat and all that kind of thing. Um, but I can go over it with more color pencil. I can go over it with paint. I can go over it with nothing and just leave it be. Like there's no, um, see, I can see that lifting under there. Get down there. It could be whatever, you know what I mean? Whatever way I want it to be. Do not lift. Do not lift. Do not lift. That will sometimes happen if you're on texture, right? So I'm just going to try to make that contact. So it doesn't come loose. If it does, there is a way to fix it, but I really don't want it to, so we'll see. <laughs> um, it looks like it should be okay. Okay, so now I got these. And, you know, you ain't getting six rows of them, you're getting one. <laughs> And they don't even give you a squishy, a squishy thing, right? But you just peel it off. Save this for many reasons. It's a nice sticky waxy, but if you don't use all these, you'll want it back. Otherwise, it's good for a million different things. So, what am I going to use to scrub it on with? Let's do this. Excuse my arm. We're going to use this. And I'm just going to go down here. And I'm going to scrub it on. I love these. I have so many of these. i got to find them all. But things don't have to make sense if you don't want them to. Do you know what I mean? But I mean, look at that. You don't have to know. And like down here is like little peewees that like came off. Who cares? I'm going to leave it there. Now I'm going to go in with the letter somewhere. I know I want to put stuff there. I get too excited. i got to move on. Okay. So... I'm not going to do, I know I could do a word. Um, let's try to, and if it screws up, then so be it. Let's do, I won't be able to do all the words, letters, but. B, B. My dog's gonna come running thinking I'm singing. Little does he know it's my attempt at singing.
You know my word. You know my word. What the frick is that up there? Huh? Now I'm going to push it down in that texture so it gets it. And I know I'm going to be missing an E, but it's all right. Watch my work. No. <laughs> Okay, that storm scared the crap out of me and now everything i'm like what is it what is it there's fire things going it must have hit something up there i don't know bre a because i already took half the a off why not just do it all love or some shit, right? How big are these freaking words? B R E A T H Plus, I've been crocheting up a storm. I'm not even going to lie to you. I've been sitting and crocheting. It's my meditation. I love it. I can't even stand it. Okay. B-R-E-A-T-H. Now I need an E, but this is not going to work. But guess what? I'm fancy and I'm an artist. Okay? You see what I'm saying to you? Go with it. Just go for it. Who's to tell me no? Nobody. I think you get, you're picking up what I'm putting down, right? Breathe. Is it a three? Yeah. Who freaking cares? All right. Now, I'm just going to go like this. I like that. I do want, I like these little flowers down here. Ooh, that would be a good tattoo. That's what I'll do. I get more of these. I like these little flowers. It's like my daughter. She has the tattoos up all on her arm and sleeve. Okay. And remember, any questions you have about anything, just ask. And, hey, if you want to support me, down below, you can hit and become a member you can hit and just donate you know some money um to help me out you can do whatever you want i know shameless plug but everybody does it and why not me and i don't expect that from you you know what else you can do is just hit like on my videos and leave me a comment that's free and i love that too so okay i love it all Okay, so here, I really don't want it extended. You know what? Who cares? It can extend. Be cute if she had a little heart. Like that little girl. I feel so bad for that little Nickelodeon girl. There is a little crown, but that's, I don't think that's going to go with these. So let me do some hearts and stars here. Just for like. And I need something like, well, we can just do this whole thing here, right? Get on there, baby, get on. Ugh. You know, come on. stuck on me yeah you see how it's just adding a little well, I didn't even stamp or anything yet here I can do I can do oh, that's a cute upside down heart and a little ziggy zag and kind of 
some P, some X. Who doesn't like some P and X? And G. I'm not even going to rub it all the way, so if it doesn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I've got to do something down here. What are we going to do? Do you see like how it adds just, and I'm going to do like a little stamp and all, but like, oh, okay. All right. I get too excited. And, um, I think that's where I lose everybody <laughs> where nobody wants to watch. Cause I get too excited. Okay. But y'all said, Hey, I want to see, uh, your longer videos like you used to have. So I figured I'll come on and do a longer video for those who want it. And then I'll speed it up and do a fast one for those who don't want to sit. You know, ah, I fucked up my, I screwed up my uh, tattoo, but what are you going to do? Just adds a little je sais quoi. I don't know what that word is. All right. See, this is not sticking. Come on. Come on. Stick. Just trying to push that air out. I mean, there's glue coming out. Plus, I'm going to resin it, so that'll help. So, come on. I don't want it to lift. I might need a little bit more glue under there. So, we'll get to that. I'm all right with that. Okay, so I think I gotta fix the A. I don't know where the thing the A is. Where to go? Is this it? No. Is that it? That could be it. I could make it that, right? Yeah. What the hell? Let's do it. There we go. And then I can kind of cut that off. Or no. Will you come off? Yep. Just scrape it. I'm going to outline those anyway. So. And then. I'll deal with that. After. I'm not worried about that too much. I. Uh, like I said. I'm going to like go over it with like some white. Or something. Where else is lacking? Up here. I, uh, next time I gotta get out my other ones. I have a bunch. I might even have more of these. I'm not gonna save that heart for something else, but we'll see. All right, we have it everywhere. You see what I'm saying. Now you just take your little boopy and look. Now you can see you still have a lot more, uh, that you can scrub off on something else, which I'm gonna be doing a, uh, either an art journal page or an ATC or something. But I'll probably use the rest of that. Okay, so now that we're basically dry, and and that's probably part of the problem is it needs to like I'm playing with it too much and it needs just to be on there and stick. So I'll add all that after. Oh, here we go. I was like, I know I had something. All right. So if you've been with me for a while, you guys know I suck at, at these are all dried out because. The way I use them. And the way I use them is, you're going to see. These might be a little newer ones, though. Okay. Okay. So we have eggplant, pink, and black. Now, I'm going to go in. Y'all know these ones. I know you do. I know you do. And we have this bad boy. So let's do, let's see if our pink works. Squish it around. Get the paint on it. Squish it. Oh, my foster dogs are going insane. We also foster puppies for a great uh, group called Woof Love. And uh, 
I am, and you can see, and it's very light, and I am good with that. I don't need it real dark. Um, so, uh, somebody put in for the mother, and I have to call all her, like the, whatchamacallit, the vet, the re references, all the things. So, I know that they're very excited, but I can't let them come yet for her, because I want to make sure that, you know. They're good. They're good people. And so far, so good. I've, you know, I mean, I had one person return a puppy recently, and it was due to health reasons for them, not the dog. Um, all right, so I did that. And you all know this bad boy. Let's see this color. Um, so, you know, I understand uh, health things, you know, but I'm like, um, so... Yeah, so I got nothing on it. Come on. Why you gotta do me like that? So I got her back, but she got adopted out very quickly to a really, really wonderful family. So. That's where we're at. I don't necessarily need my stamps to make sense. I just like that color coming through. Now, once this like fully dries and everything, I like to go back with sometimes a little white paint. I might do like a uh, peach paint or something. I don't know. And maybe like dull them back a little bit or maybe I won't. It depends on my mood. <laughs> I, apparently my middle finger really needed decorated today. So there's that. Okay. All right. So now... I wonder if black would be too much. But you know what I am going to do because this is really bothering the crap out of me. And I know some of you, it's probably bothering the crap out of you too. Um, if I know my peeps. All right. So I thought it would be very like cute and artsy, but let's face it. I am not cute or artsy. So we're going in and all I'm going to do is just do a dab. And we just did a dab. That's it. Okay, maybe I need a little bit more of a dab, Ange. And I don't know if you're still hanging with me. Just put the word breathe down below so I know if this is even worth doing the longer videos. Um, you know, so that's what I'm going to do for that. And then I think I'm going to take this. I don't know if this black's going to work. We're going to see. I'm going to squish it and squish it. It looks a little wet, which is what we all like to know. Okay. Because this area is like really bothering the shit out of me. And mm -mm, not much. Not much there. Oh, okay, got some there. Yeah, it's just not... I'm going to have to hold it. So if that happens and your canvas moves too much, just push it from underneath. So you get some... Uh, you know, some... You can see, like, it looks like it's distressed. That's it. I don't want to do too much black because then it turns into... A black mess you know what I mean but I'm loving her I'm loving her once this gesso dries I'm gonna go in and paint an E okay. oh my god I can't believe my puppies give me one second <laughs> One second, I'm so sorry. Okay, I think we're good now. All right, so what I decided to do was to take this, and this is why they're all messed up, <laughs> but I'm just gonna take it, run it down, almost like to frame it. Not even, but, I mean, because that's not, I'm not gonna frame it, but with this, but just to add a little bit of color, you know? 
because one of my favorite I love this bright color um, and I love like I want it a little bit more but uh, uh, while I was waiting that I did the E I just have to paint around it and then it'll look fine nobody will ever know unless you tell me Oh, we're going to still keep working. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, well, what are we going to do? It's part of the gig. You can always watch this and speed do the speed through and just have some music. Okay. So, that is where we are here. And now, like I said, this will be with something I fixed last once I, or like when I go on with the next color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, if I should wait, I wonder if I should wait and let this dry overnight. I know I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do another video, but we're an hour in and I hate like hell to go and do this and then screw it up. Do you know what I mean? Like because the glue and everything is still a little wet and if I go to use a pencil, it's going to tear kind of thing. I don't want that. So I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But one thing I do want to do is take a, uh, you know, I love the Stabilo. Stabilo, Stabilo all. And I'm just going to go. Let's see, I have to wait for that to dry. It's not all the way dry. I'm going to go around everything. And then take water to it. But. I'll wait until this is dry. See, it's like a little rubbery catching. I don't want that. I don't want that. Huh. Please just... Okay. That's what we're going to do. I know. I have to call it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, I could just sit here and call it. Okay, i got to stop. I'm going to stop because it's not going to come out good if I keep messing with it. So that's her so far. Her little face and all. So we'll see. I will be back tomorrow. I'm just going to call it. And you know, uh, please be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else's fighting. And I apologize. I thought I could get it all done. But who am I kidding? Um, I hope you'll... Let me know what you think, and I hope you'll join me on my other video, my next video tomorrow, where I will finish this. And um, I just hope you guys have a great night, and sending my love to you guys. And anybody, I know we all are going through something at some point. You know what I mean? We all got crap in our lives, so I'm sending my love to you. And um, I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>